working in front of the cathedral, Jackson Square. There's bands playing, there are street performers and magicians and fortune tellers. There's so much traffic and we talk to probably hundreds of people every day who stop by and ask about what we're doing and uh, we get to share a little bit of that history with them. There was planning going on for a restoration project at St. Louis Cathedral and when they realized the importance of the archaeology then they invited us to become a, a part of the project and actually conduct excavations in advance of what they were doing to look at the conditions of the foundations of the cathedral. This is something that that no one has had the opportunity to do before. The layers in the ground we're looking at have been unchanged since essentially the cathedral went into place for around 1850. So this is entirely new work and it has the opportunity to answer some really essential questions about the nature of social life in the 18th century city. One of the things that we recognized really early on was that almost every era of the cathedral's history is represented here. There was a permanent church began on the site as early as 1724. There was probably a temporary one even earlier. That burned in 1788. It was rebuilt in 1794 afterwards and then rebuilt again in 1849 to 51, which is when the present cathedral dates to. The artifacts that are found in each of those layers that are built up over time tell us about the people who are working on the church and the cathedral, the people who are using this very public space at the heart of the city. We find bits of beads, tiny bits of pottery, much more Native, Native American pottery than we might expect in, uh, in a location like this in those earliest layers. Pieces of smoking pipes, pieces of glass, religious medallions, all sorts of things that are going to, to help us kind of reconstruct daily life around the cathedral in the 18th and early 19th century. You know, this is a, a high profile, high visibility location, but there are stories like this all through the city that can be told through archeology, span stories that we think are, are just as important, stories of people uh, who didn't really have the opportunity to write down as much and tell uh, in the historical record as much uh, about, about themselves. Archaeology gives us insight into that.